in the last video lecture i explained you question number 12 and 13 of exercise of chapter number 1 that is accounting for share capital now in this video lecture i am going to explain you question number 15 and 17 of exercise that is on page number 61 of your textbook so first of all let us read question number 15 okay Rustam Limited of Bansar issued two lakh forty thousand equity shares of rupees ten each at a premium of seventy rupees per share. It means the one of the company has issued the share whose face value is rupees ten per share and at a premium of rupees seventy per share. It means total value of the share including premium is equal to eighty rupees. Amount quoted per share was as under rupees thirty eight on application. Including premium of rupees thirty five. It means on application the company has called rupees thirty eight, in which the premium amount that is thirty five rupees per share. So the face value or in the time of application that is rupees three per share. Then afterwards twenty eight on allotment in which premium that is twenty five. So three rupees at the time of allotment. And fourteen rupees in which ten rupees is premium at the time of final call. So the amount of final call. Uh, face value that is rupees four per share. Okay. Next further, all the sums due were duly received except money due on allotment and final call on two thousand shares. All the money uh, was received from all the shareholders except money due on allotment and final call that was due on one of the shareholder who was holding two thousand shares of the company who has not paid allotment and final call money. After carrying out necessary formalities. Company forfeited Jahangir's shares. It means necessary formalities were carried out, and the company forfeited the shares of Jahangir. These shares were issued to Joseph, new shareholder. Uh, the company has sold. The company has issued these shares to new shareholder at 40 percent premium as fully paid up. It means considering the shares as fully paid up, it means 10 rupees per share or 40 percent premium. It means 4 rupees premium. So the company sold the shares at a premium of 40 percent per share. Okay, so we have to write the journal entries for all these transactions. Okay, so let us see the format. The same first journal entry that is when at the time of application the company is receiving the amount. Um, so the journal entry that would be bank account debit, it would be equity share application account credit. Now I write an amount that is ninety one lakh twenty thousand. That is for how many shares? That is two lakh forty thousand. There is no any over subscription. So two lakh forty thousand shares multiplied by thirty eight rupees. So two lakh forty five forty thousand multiplied by thirty eight will do. Then you will get ninety one lakh twenty thousand. Now that share application money that you are transferring to share capital account. Okay. So and then the security is premium because it is application money is received including premium. So you have to credit the amount of security premium amount to uh, security premium account. Okay. So second journal entry that would be equity share application account debit that would be same amount ninety one lakh twenty thousand. Two equity share capital account <coughs> credit that is two lakh forty thousand shares multiplied by three rupees per share, so it will come to seven lakh twenty thousand. Next two securities premium account that is two lakh forty thousand shares multiplied by thirty five rupees per share that is the amount of premium. Okay, so two lakh forty five forty thousand multiplied by thirty five you will do you will get eighty four. Okay. After completion, the completion of the first step that is of application, moving on to the next uh, step that is of allotment. First of all, the allotment amount will be due. So here also there is amount of premium. So next journal entry that will be equity share allotment account debit that is sixty seven lakh twenty thousand. How much sixty seven lakh twenty thousand gain? That is two lakh forty thousand shares multiplied by twenty eight rupees per share including premium. Okay. Then after this, equity share capital account. That will be two lakh forty thousand multiplied by three rupees per share on allotment. That is the amount of face value. So that will come to seven lakh twenty thousand. Next one, two two securities premium amount. That is two lakh forty thousand shares multiplied by twenty five rupees per share. That is the amount of premium. So two lakh forty thousand multiplied by twenty five. You will do. You will get securities premium account credited by rupees sixty. Okay. Now whatever the amount that is due of allotment, that amount is received from the Shareholder, except one shareholder that is Jahangir who has not paid the amount due on allotment and final call on two thousand shares. Okay, so remaining amount that will be received. So the general entry that will be bank account debit, calls in arrears, whatever amount has not been received, that is calls in arrears account debit to equity share allotment account credit. 
Now, equity share allotment account debit payable at 67 lakh 20,000. So, same amount will do credit at 67 lakh 20,000. Out of that, person areas. Now, person areas that is on 2,000 shares. On 2,000 shares, you will count 28 rupees per share. So, 28 into 2,000, you will get 56,000. This much amount is not received from one of the shareholder that is run here. So, person areas account debit that would be 56,000. So, remaining amount. Received so that will be debited to bank account. So total 67 lakh 20,000 is due for allotment. Out of that, 56,000 is not received. So remaining amount subtracting this two amount, you will get 66 lakh 64,000. That amount is received by the company, so it will be debited to bank account. Okay. Now, the fourth is point that we have committed that is of allotment. Now, the next slab that is of final call. First of all, the amount of final call will be D. So first general entity that will be equity share capital call account debit to equity share capital account to securities premium account credit. Now over here equity share uh, final call step uh, that is of 14 rupees per share including premium. So 2 lakh 40,000 multiplied by 14 you will do you will get 33 lakh 60,000. Out of that equity share capital account that is 4 rupees per share. So 2 lakh 40,000 multiplied by 4 you will do you will get 9 lakh 60,000. And 2 lakh 40,000 multiplied by 10 you will do premium. So, 24 lakh account, 24 lakh that will be credited to securities premium Okay. Now, whatever the amount that is due for final call that has been received from the shareholder except one shareholder that is Jahangir from whom uh, 2000 shares final call money has not been received. Okay. So, bank account debit, calls in areas account debit to equity share final call account credit. Now, whatever amount that you have debited to final call, same amount will credit that is 33 lakh 60,000. Out of 33 lakh 60,000, Calls in areas that is of 2000 shares. On 2000 shares, 14 rupees per share, including premium of final call, is not received. So 2000 multiplied by 14, it would come to 28,000. So from 33 lakh 60,000, 28,000 will subtract. The remaining amount has been received by the company. That is 33 lakh 32,000 bank account debt. Okay. Now we have completed all the three points of uh, uh, the due and received amount of application, allotment and final call. Now the next point that is the forfeiture. Now uh, uh, applying all the procedures, the company has forfeited the shares of Jahangir. Okay. So next journal entry that is a forfeiture of the shares of Jahangir. First of all, equity share capital account debit. That is 2000 shares multiplied by 10 rupees per share. So it will come to 20,000. Now, next that is securities premium account debit. That it will come to 35 rupees per share. Now, how that 35 rupees per share came to? That is at the time of premium, at the time of application, that is 35 rupees per share that the shareholder has paid. So, 2000 multiplied by 35, that will come to 70,000. Okay, that is limited to securities premium account debit. Next, we will share for feature account. Now that amount that is paid at the time of application, that is 3 rupees per share. See, 25, 35 rupees is the amount of premium and 38, so 38 minus 35, 3 rupees is the amount of face value of shares that is received at the time of application. So that will be credited to whatever amount has been received, that will be credited to share for feature account that is 2000 into 3. And whatever amount that has not been received, that will be credited to that particular slab. Okay. Your share allotment and final call money has not been received on 2000 shares. So, two share allotment account credit on 2000 shares multiplied by 28 rupees per share to come to 56,000. And next one to share final call account credit that is also 2000 shares multiplied by 14 rupees per share including premium that would come to 2000 into 14 that would come to 28,000. Okay. So, this entry that was for forfeiture. Now that forfeited shares are reissued at 40% premium, considering them as fully paid up shares. Okay. So next journal we will have written that is bank account debit that is 28,000 to equity share capital account credit 20,000 to securities premium account credit that is 8,000. Now considering these shares as fully paid up, so 2,000 shares multiply by 10 rupees that is face value and 40% premium on 10 rupees that would come 4 rupees per share. So 10 plus 4 it would come to 14. So 2000 multiplied by 14 it would come to 28,000. And equity share capital account that is 2000 into 10. So 20,000. That in equity share capital account always face value will be transferred. Next to securities premium account that
and the score is per share. So 2000 into 4, we would come to 8000. Okay, so this entry that was for the issue of forfeited shares. Now the last entry that would be the balance that would be transferred to share for uh, sorry capital reserve account. Now we can see the share forfeiture account over here. It is credited by rupees six thousand, and over here share forfeiture account that is nowhere uh, written at the time of reissue because the shares are reissued not at a discount but at a premium. If they were issued at discount, then share forfeiture account would have been debited by the amount of discount given to the shareholder. But over here the shares are issued at premium, so share forfeiture account has not been debited. At issue of forfeited shares. So whatever the balance that is credit balance of 6000, that share forfeiture account will be balance of share forfeiture account of 6000 that will be transferred to capital reserve. So the last entry that will be share forfeiture account of 6000 to capital reserve account credit that is 6000. So this is the end of the uh, sum that is 15 sum. At last in case of journal entries don't forget to the total of debit and credit it would come equal that is 3 crore 85 lakh both the sides. Now, after completion of the 15th sum, today I will explain the next sum that is 17th sum of your exercise that is also on the same page. Okay, so let us read question number 17. Uh, Sidpur is a pool limited issued 6 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 7 per share. Now, the shares that are issued that is 6 lakh shares of face value that is 10 per share and premium that is 7 rupees per share. The amount is payable as under rupees 10 per share on application including premium. It means the amount of premium that is collected at the time of application only. Okay, so 7 rupees uh, is the amount of premium and 3 rupees is the amount at the time of application. Next one, 4 rupees on allotment and 3 rupees on final form. Applications were received for 9 lakh shares. It means excess application of 3 lakh shares that were rejected and given back to the applicant. Excess applications were rejected and money paid that one was uh, refunded. Siddharaj was allotted 6,000 shares did not pay money due on allotment and hence the shares were forfeited after allotment. One shareholder who had uh, 6,000 shares of the company has not paid the amount due on allotment. So his shares were forfeited after the allotment point. It is mentioned over here hence his shares were forfeited after allotment. Means final call was not even called by the company before that the company has forfeited the shares of Sidharaj. Next one, Jaisi who was allotted 4000 shares did not pay money due on final call and hence his shares were forfeited after final call. Another shareholder who has not paid the final call money due on it and so his shares were forfeited after final call. Allotment and final call amount was received on remaining shares. Company reissued 6000 shares of Sidharaj at 7 per share to Meena and 4000 shares of Jaising at rupees 6 per share to Rudra. It means whatever the forfeited shares that were reissued to another shareholders at a discount. Okay, that is 7 rupees per share and 6 rupees per share. Pass necessary journal entries in the books of company to record about transactions. Okay, so let us write the journal entries related to the transactions that are given to you. First entry that would be amount received at the time of application, that is bank account debit to equity share application account credit. Now, how many shares applications uh, that we have received? That is 9 lakh shares at the uh, rate of 10 rupees per share. So, 9 lakh into 10, it will come to 90 lakh. Okay. Now, second entry that is equity share application amount that will be transferred to share capital. Excess application that will be returned back. And the uh, remaining amount that is of premium that will be transferred to securities premium amount. Okay. So, the next entry that will be equity share application account debit that will be same amount 90 lakh. To equity share capital account credit that would be 9 lakh will not consider over here 9 lakh shares now we consider only 6 lakh shares we got extra 3 lakh shares that we are returning back so 6 lakh shares multiply by 3 rupees per share that is the amount of face value at the time of application so 6 lakh multiply by 3 will come to 18 lakh there are those two securities premium account now securities premium account that would be 6 lakh shares multiply by 7 rupees that is the amount of premium. So 6 lakh multiply by 7 it will come to 42 lakh. To bank account credit that is how much has been written that is 3 lakh excess shares multiply by 10 rupees per share including premium that has been written by so 30 lakh and that will be credited to bank account. That much balance of bank balance will be reduced. Okay. 
Now first we have completed the point of application. Now moving on to the next point that is of allotment. First of all, the amount of allotment will be due. Okay. So equity share allotment account debit to equity share capital account credit. Now we are considering only six lakh shares and four rupees per share. So six lakh into four it will come to twenty four lakh. So twenty four lakh. Next one, the uh, when we are receiving the amount of allotment. Now there is one shareholder that is Sidraj, who owns six thousand shares he is holding, and he has not paid the amount due on allotment. Okay, so six thousand shares. The amount has been not written over here. That is how many shares are there? That is six thousand shares. And on six thousand shares, multiply by four, so it will come to twenty. Four thousand, twenty-four thousand rupees has not been received from Sidraj that is due on allotment, and the total that will come that is twenty-four lakh. So out of total twenty-four lakh that is due for allotment, one shareholder that is uh, Sidraj who has not paid the amount of due on allotment that is for six thousand shares, so six thousand into four that is twenty-four thousand. So all the areas account that will be debited by is twenty-four thousand. And total twenty-four lakh minus twenty-four. Due to which the shares have been forfeited. Okay. 
Okay. Now that shares which the company has forfeited of chasing that are reissued. Okay. Now first general entry that I have written over here that is the forfeiture of the six thousand shares. Sorry, reissue of the six thousand shares. And the next general entry that I have written that is the reissue of the four thousand shares. So first of all, I will explain this general entry that is for six thousand shares of Siddharaj. So bank account debit it has been mentioned over there that is Siddharaj shares have been reissued. See it is mentioned company issued six thousand shares of Siddharaj. Siddharaj and that is six seven per share. Okay. Six thousand multiplied by seven, it would come to forty-two thousand. Whatever amount of discount that would be debited to share forfeiture account. So six thousand into three, that would come to eighteen thousand. So share forfeiture account debit that is eighteen thousand. To equity share capital account debit that is sixty thousand. Okay. This is for reissue of six thousand shares. Now next general entry that is for reissue of four thousand shares. That four thousand shares of uh, JSA that are issued at rupees six per share. Okay. So bank account debit four thousand multiplied by six, it would come to twenty four thousand. Amount of discount that is four rupees per share. So four thousand into four, it would come to sixteen thousand. So share forfeiture account would be debited by rupees sixteen thousand. And to equity share capital account debit that is fourteen thousand. Okay. Now after completing all the all the general entries related to all the instalments due and received. And forfeiture and reissue of the shares. Last step that is the transfer of the balance of share forfeiture to capital reserve. Okay. Here you can see last entry I have written share forfeiture account debit to capital reserve account credit. Among that I have written that is twelve thousand. Okay. Now on that twelve thousand we have to verify. See over here share forfeiture account that we have credited by rupees eighteen thousand. Over there uh, we have uh, credited the amount that is by twenty eight thousand. So twenty eight thousand plus eighteen thousand, so thirty eight and forty six. Okay, out of forty six thousand, what amount has been credited? Uh, okay, over here we have debited eighteen thousand, and over here we have debited that is sixteen thousand. So eighteen plus sixteen that would come to thirty four thousand. Thirty four thousand. So debit amount that is thirty four thousand, and credit amount of share for which that is forty six thousand. Okay, so forty six thousand. Minus thirty four thousand, so the balance of share forfeiture that would be twelve thousand. That would be transferred to capital reserve. So last entry that I have written share forfeiture account debit twelve thousand to capital reserve account credit twelve thousand. Here you have to count the total of share forfeiture of both the uh, account of forfeiture that is of Jaising also and of Sidraj also. From that you will subtract the debit amount at the time of reissue of both the shares. And then you will find the balance of share forfeiture that will be transferred to capital reserve. And last, don't forget to do the total of the general entries of debit and credit. That is two crore sixty five lakh fifty eight thousand to crore sixty five lakh fifty eight thousand. So that's the end of the sum today, students. In the next video lecture, I'll be continuing.